that in order to get effective change in the country on this point and on so many other things, you've got to be in somehow somehow hypocritical. That's that's kind of what it means to change, doesn't it? OK, so, so you're accepting that you're hypocritical. What about the Prime Minister describing Insulate Britain as selfish? I mean, this is a Prime Minister who stood in the UN a fortnight ago, staking his premiership on a green ticket. He's committed to COP26. He wants to drive a green agenda. But he calls your organisation, or the organisation you're advising, I should say, uh, selfish. Well, you can understand that, can't you? Nobody wants this disruption. We don't want this disruption. In some senses, it's a selfish thing to do. Um, but on the other hand, uh, this is fighting for everybody in the UK. This isn't fighting for these individuals. This is fighting for everybody to have the benefit of um, safe housing that is warm, that doesn't kill lots of people in the winter because they're in fuel poverty. I mean, I, I agree completely with all those policy points that Boris was making that you talked about earlier in the program. Uh, Levelling up, building back better, building back better for climate change. The policies are all great. The problem is that they're doing nothing at the moment. Nothing is being done in this regard. So what Insulate Britain is doing is simply asking the government to follow up on their policies with some concrete action. Tim, how much are these tactics risking handing the moral ground to government ministers, people like Grant Shapps and Boris Johnson. These people are taking out injunctions against Insulate Britain. It makes them look like the good guys in this situation when you are, well, oh, the group that you represent, are gluing themselves to the M25. They're holding up traffic. They're holding up ambulances. Aren't, is there, aren't these tactics making you look worse and playing into the hands of the ministers? Well... We want the ministers to look good. That's precisely what we want. This is, I mean, this isn't about us looking good. We obviously, we don't look good to a lot of, a lot of people in this country. They're really, really annoyed with us. That's not the issue. We want the ministers to look good because they're taking concrete action. Absolutely. Absolutely, Ellie. The trouble with all of this is, you know, it sets a precedent, doesn't it? You're not happy with the way the government is dealing with something. You're not just you know, enacting your sacrosanct right to protest, but you're breaking laws. In fact, new laws, as Ellie described, are having to be brought in to deal with you. What if every single organisation and group that didn't agree with national policy decided to do that? It would be anarchy, would have the prisons full, because now you're going to be facing six-month prison terms as of the new year, as a result of these new laws that are being brought in. We live in a modern democracy, and this isn't the correct way to enforce your desires and wills on a government and, and on a nation. Yeah, I think that's an interesting point, um, Isabel. Um, I'd say that um, we do live in, a, in an extraordinary, extraordinary democracy. There's no doubt about that. I think you're absolutely right. We live in an extraordinary place where we have the privilege of being able to do this without, for, for instance, being Why dragged off to prison and having, our, so having our fingernails pulled out. Pardon? But it's, it's not good enough for you, then, <laughs> the, the democratic model. Well, it's not working at the moment in, in this regard. If we take someone like the, um, the former chief scientist of the UK, Sir David King, he was quoted last week as saying we have to take, ver or the government has to take very, very severe actions in order to deal with climate no change. He was previously quoted this year I want as to see saying the that, that your we have tactics to are actually being effective in bringing about change. Well, they haven't been effective yet, which is why they're carrying on. Well, they'll be effective at the point at which the government takes substantive action on this point. Then we'll, then we'll see whether they've been effective, and we're going to carry on until they are effective, because there's no choice. We've run out of our carbon budget. That's what Sir David King's saying. We're, we've run out of our carbon budget. And it's not, you know, talking about the Conservative uh, conference upcoming, I mean, it's not the policy of the Conservative Party, surely, to wreck the farm, to be reckless with our futures, which is what is happening at the moment in respect of climate change. We're in a very, very serious uh, situation looking forward 5, 10, 15 years. Social disruption on a massive scale, migration across the world on a massive scale that's going to make Syria look like a kind of walk in the park. Is social disruption of that level, is destroying our national security, really what the Conservative Party are about. And if it's not about that, it needs to take action now. Boris needs to take action now.
as he says he's as he says he will or as he says he's going to but if, you know we want to see it we all want to see it not just us i'm sure you do as well well i, I do hope that doesn't have to be resorting to gassing children as we saw in syria i mean that's quite an extreme comparison but I, i'm assuming that was just a no, we're, we're um not at all i was referring to uh, syria because of the amount of mass migration and the trouble that that's causing europe um okay. we are dedicated of course to the non-violence absolute non-violence that is a, a sacrosanct uh policy for insulate britain tim we're not living in one of the big polluters in the world we're not living in india or china or the usa i mean britain uh, is hosting cop 26 we, we are dedicated to net zero emissions by 2050 i just don't know how yeah. many more how much more awake we can get as a nation to the climate crisis. I mean, uh, in a recent uh, poll uh, published in The Lancet, one in four young people are already thinking twice about having children because of global yeah. heating. Nearly half of voters say that spending on the climate crisis should be a priority. I think the environment is a priority issue to yes. many people. So anybody that isn't Absolutely. taking it seriously at this point surely you're not going to persuade them around with, with these kind of tactics? It's not the ordinary people of Britain that need to be persuaded. Uh, so why, you shown, why are you disrupting the, the, the ordinary politicians people of Britain? That need, I'm sorry, Ellie? So why is it the ordinary people in Britain that are trying to get to work on the M25 that you're disrupting? Why aren't you outside the Indi India House or China House or outside Downing Street? Because the only way really to affect change, to get the politicians to listen to you in this country is to get on the front page of the sun. That's the bottom line, isn't it? I mean, uh, in order to affect change, the politicians have to feel that there is a real issue there that they have got to deal with. That, the history has shown that time and time again. And we're talking about very, very significant change. We shouldn't underestimate the amount of money that it will take to achieve insulating Britain. It is an immense amount of money and will, requ will require a, a huge amount of um, bravery on the part of Boris Johnson to implement it. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, th I think there's a, a huge task there for the government and they need to be really forced in some way at the moment to look at this seriously because nothing at the moment is happening. That is what that is what it, that is what the scientists are saying. Nothing substantive is happening at the moment and it needs to happen commensurate with what the ordinary people of this country want and understand. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.